Hey guys, my name is Chimangazo and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to have you stop by this week. I do hope that you are subscribed, but if you haven't, I'd love for you to please join the family and to click on that notification button for your affordable home styling content. In today's video, I will be taking you through styling your bedroom. Having a beautifully styled, tranquil bedroom is the key to relaxing and unwinding at the end of a long working day. In today's video, I will be taking you through a few tips of styling your bedroom with a specific focus on the bed layering technique. Remember, if you haven't subscribed, please kindly do so. And without further ado, let's get into this. A beautiful bed, in my view, starts with good bedding and layering. And as we have come to embrace in this channel, beautiful does not always mean expensive. Today, I will be showing you how I make my bed inviting using the layering technique. This is the base which I'm going to use to layer the bed. And I have my kilt or duvet in it that looks like a kilt. You can also use a sheet, flat sheet rather. This I specifically got from Paypom. It was just 149 and it is a cover, but I'm going to be using it as a flat sheet or a clay kilt rather. Um, you can decide how you want to, or what you want to add on the base of your mattress. Right after you have put your flat sheet or your kilt, you want to select a duvet inner and cover perfect for your knees. And while my cover is ordinary, I prefer a luxury feather duvet inner and I got mine a year or two ago from Velopes. I love the warmth and the hotel feeling it affords me. And you can get this kind from luxury home stores like at home, Velopes, Woolworth and other high-end stores. Um, and uh, I just you will see here that it looks very thick and uh, I can promise you that this will give you a good night's rest and just like that we have begun layering our bed it already looks very clean it's beautiful I'm obviously working on like a neutral color palette that will match my headboard um this is a white you've got the creams and you've got another white it looks very beautiful and very peaceful and which is why i prefer using white bedding in my bedroom because it just gives you that tranquil look but the point here really is on layering and i think right now you have sort of figured out how you can then begin doing your layering now, normally, your duvet should be fine at this point to just add a few decorative touches as just as a throw. But for a layered look, you may want to go ahead and have a comforter to add on top of the duvet. This really is just for decorative purposes, but also because we are doing a layered bed. But it also just gives you a chance to decide at the end of the day before you get to bed whether you want to have your duvet something warm or something light like a quilt or a comforter so i'm just going to let you watch to see how this layering works out at this point you would be finished with layering your bed and just need a few decorative touches to make a complete a layered and um, styled bedroom or a styled bed. And if I can just quickly then take you through what we have on the bed, I've got this uh, satin or shiny a comforter that I just added. I got it from China Mall Johannesburg Main Reef. There really are no prices, guys. It's just a matter of uh, negotiating. The guy they said at four hundred and fifty, but then we ended up settling for uh, three hundred and eighty. So um, this is for a king bed, but my bed is a queen size, and that's the only size that he had. After this, you are going to then just layer your cushions and add any other decorative touches that you'd like to have in the bedroom. 
and that is just about it and right now i am going to show you the full bedroom as it looks i recently got this carpet from Marabastad for just 800 rands it's quite large and on my bedside i've got this fluffy rug that i also get from Marabastad. i don't remember the price it is on my previous videos and this is how this bedding comforter looks very beautiful and here we go what do you guys think from my previous videos you'll remember that this dresser was just black and i recently painted it white but left the handles white and now i just painted the handles um gold and i think it looks absolutely gorgeous <music> For an extra finishing touch, you want to pop accessories or flowers on your bedside or your dresser and you want to maybe use colors that either complement or will pop on tones on your bed or just, you know, keep them neutral. A little accessorizing is a great way to add some extra design finish that will make your room look like it has been styled by a designer. I got my lampshade and the base from Mr. Price Home. The base was 399 and I love the fact that it uh, looks antique and I can change it to whatever color I like. The cushions are from my Orangani collections and the price will vary depending on your color and size specs. So you're welcome to DM me on Instagram. My dress has my mirror tray from Mr. Price Home 329. I've got the clear jar from Osbro for 50 rands, and this other gold nice jazz from China Mall for just 150. I am using it to store my tissues, so it's quite convenient if you're standing on the mirror and you want to wipe off your lipstick or whatever, and you've got your tissues nicely stored over here. If you are looking for other easy ways of styling your dresser or your decorative trays, be sure to watch my previous video on the channel for cool ideas. guys i hope you have enjoyed this video and that you have found it resourceful to take away an idea or two please leave your comments below and please kindly subscribe if you haven't see you soon